Welcome to Park Point. My name is Clara Kramer, and my favorite thing to do at Park Point is swim in the water and play with my dog, Daisy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Bible story called House on the Rock. House on the Rock. Jesus liked to teach people by telling them stories. Sometimes he told stories called parables. Through parables, people learned God would help them, especially when things were not easy in their lives. Jesus told this parable about two houses to many people as he sat with them on a mountain one day. I want to tell you about two different people. Each one wanted to build a house. One person was very smart and one was very silly. The smart person built a house on a sturdy rock. Bad weather came. Boom, echoed the thunder and shook the little house as lightning streaked across the sky. Plop, 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 dripped the heavy raindrops that fell on the roof. Whoosh, sighed the cold wind as it blew against the walls. The house didn't fall down, though, because the smart person had built it on the sturdy rock. The silly person built a house on sand, and something very different happened. Bad weather came. Boom, echoed the thunder and shook that little house, too, as lightning streaked across the sky. Plop, 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 dripped the heavy raindrops that fell on the roof. Whoosh, sighed the cold wind as it blew against the walls. Guess what happened this time? Because the silly person built the house on sand, crash, it fell down. If you listen to me, you are building your life on the sturdy rock of God. If you don't listen to me, you are building your life on ideas that are like the sand that shifts and blows away. When Jesus finished talking, the people on the mountain were surprised by his words. They had never heard stories like that from their rabbis before. Jesus was a wonderful teacher who helped them learn how to always trust God. While we were at the beach, my sister and her friends built a really big hole while me and my cousins built a raft out of logs on the beach. However, when waves or a storm come, both of these will be destroyed. They will disappear. That's what happens with sandcastles and rafts out of logs. A raft disappeared. However, God's love cannot be washed away. It cannot disappear with any kind of storm. It is like a rock standing strong.